Want to save $1,000? We're doing it today, making this DIY pottery barn mirror from Walmart using dorm room mirrors. These are just $5 each and some command strips. I put four command strips on the back of each mirror. As long as the first one goes up level, the other ones go really easily around it. And the great part about this is, is it's removable and it really elevates the space on a budget. We decided to put ours in the entryway, but this would look great in a small space as well, or even your apartment. Let me know in the comments down below where you'd put yours. Since that TikTok got viral and everyone seems to like the design, I reached out to a manufacturer a few days ago and they helped me reprint the design. The only difference between this one and the last one is that the background is opaque while the other one was clearer, but I know that some people have different color phones, like they have rose gold, silver, or red. So let me know if you guys want the background to be white or clear and I can change that. Hopefully, I will be able to restock this phone case soon, and please let me know other designs that you want to see back in my shop, and I can do that. And yeah, I have many exciting things, and I'm sorry for not posting that much, but thank you guys. Please stay
ของMe pidieron que hiciera una funda con una mandala, así que lo que hice fue pintar toda la funda de color blanco. Esperé que secara y empecé a trabajar con unas acuarelas líquidas que me regaló la gente de Roel Comercializadora. Trabajé con el color azul y con el color púrpura. Usé dos gotitas de cada color. Esta parte la tenemos que hacer un toque rápido porque si humedecemos mucho el color que está de fondo, se va a arrugar todo, como me quedó acá en la esquina. Ahora con un rotulador de acrílico voy a hacer la mandala. Me ayudé con un plastiquito para hacer el medio círculo. Y la verdad que me cuesta hacer un poco las mandalas porque no sé qué dibujitos hacerles. Pero bueno, creo que quedó bonita. Por último hago mi firma y ahora le tengo que poner resina. Cut your wood at 30 degree angles on both sides with your longest side being 5 and a half inches. You will need six pieces per shelf, so we made 24 to create four shelves, and then stain them. After we laid out six pieces for one shelf side by side and taped them together. After you get them taped together, you will stand them up and then apply clear silicone in between each one. Once all the silicone is applied, you'll put them all together and then tape the ends together to make a hexagon. Once they're dry, you can take the tape off. 